precious Lord, take my hand. The bluest eye takes you on a journey of race in America following the Great Depression. The story follows a young girl who has struggles with her own self-image. Pakola believes Shirley Temple is beautiful because she is white with blue eyes and that she herself is ugly because she has dark eyes and dark skin. Unfortunately, those closest to her reaffirm her thoughts. Tabitha Gale plays Bacola in the Virginia Stage Company's production. This little girl goes through this entire play and picks herself up after each little chip away at her sense of self and sense of worth. And by the end, you just see that all that work that she's done was for naught because like the entire society and everything that's been an influence on her was against her from the start. I asked Gale how she prepared for the role. Honestly, as a black woman, I've lived through a lot of what Pakola has gone through in terms of looking to white European society to affirm me as a being and to affirm my beauty and my worth. Because you can see a Caucasian person being treated differently from you or someone, anyone being treated differently from you. And you look to see, OK, what are they doing differently? What about them is worth more than me? In addition to Pakola's struggles with her own self-image, she is a victim of physical and verbal abuse by her mother and sexual assault by her father. It's only while in foster care that Pakola meets two young girls who genuinely care about her. But their time together was short. Truth was, I miss Pakola. Now that she was back at her house and school was now over, Frida and I were bouncing off each other and the walls. We decided to make the long walk to Lake Shore Park. Hm. Lake Shore Park was a glorious city park laid out with rosebuds and picnic tables. Black people were not allowed in the parks, so this field I dream. Next to the entrance of the park was a large white house with wheelbarrows full of flowers. When Mrs. Bree Love worked, and Pecola sat on the stoop on the side of the house. Hi! Hi! What you all doing here? Looking for you. Who told y'all I was here? Where else she gonna be? You got time to come over to our house? Oh, Mrs. Bree Love don't like me leaving far from here when I'm supposed to be helping. The play's producing artistic director, Tom Quaintance, admits that The Bluest Eye has some very dark moments. And I think between both the adaptation and then uh, these amazing artists who are working on it, that the warmth, joy, humor, love, you know, will take you to those dark places, but it won't leave you there because you don't have the opportunity to, to step away for yourself. Director Kanisha Foster agrees. There's a lot of joy in the play because the play is really about the possibility of this little girl and how these little girls lift each other up and hold each other um, in a world that comes for them. The children's bond is reflected in one of Foster's favorite scenes. This moment, it's just a picture, but the three girls are playing together and they're sitting on the stairs and they all have their heads piled on top of mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. And every time it happens, like I start to tear up because I'm like, I'm like, you can't look away from this level of beauty, yep. you know. Mm -hmm. Her hope is that the audience will take from the bluest eye the message the author intended. She wants to know how we make sure this never happens again. And so her work asks, how did we get here? We have so many moments where we could have done better by this child, should have done better by this child. And there are moments at the end of the play where she says, I don't think anywhere in the country the soil was not good enough for marigolds to grow that year. And what she's saying is like, we as a country were not caring for black little girls. We weren't doing it, and we still have so far to go to do that. I want them to care for each other. I want the audience to look at every little girl that walks down the street and be like, I'm making the world better for you, and I see you. For another view, I'm Lisa Godley.